please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, November 14th. Attention World Language Club members, please remember to pick up your fundraising materials in Ms. Corber's room as soon as possible. The cafeteria has started selling after-school snacks in the cafeteria. It will be open at approximately 2.30 p.m. Students and staff may pay with their lunch account and or cash. Musical auditions will be postponed until after Thanksgiving. We will provide everyone with a new date this upcoming week. All middle school and high school band rehearsals will be canceled for this week. All students participating in pre-auditions for band will be able to meet with Mr. Lane on Friday after school. A reminder to all high school student council members, there is a brief meeting at 2.30 p.m. today in Ms. Abel's room. Attention seniors and sophomores, Jostin orders are due on Wednesday, November 28, 2018 for all interested seniors and sophomores. This includes orders for senior graduation announcements, 2019 clothing, 2019 jewelry slash class rings, and class of 2021 jewelry slash class rings and clothing. Our Jostin's representative will be here at lunches to collect all student orders and verify the accuracy of the order form slash payments and size for any class ranks. Jostin's customer service contacts are as follows. Phone 1-800-567-8367 and email at www.jostins.com slash contact. Attention boys varsity soccer players. Uniforms including blue and white jerseys, shorts, and schooled issued windsuit should be returned to Ms. Cover in room 227B by Thursday, November 15th. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Cover or Coach Hoffman. After school tutoring opportunities for students in our middle and high school will begin today. Tutoring each day will be available in the cafeteria and will begin at 2.30 p.m. and run until 3.45 p.m. Attention creative students. There is still time for high school students to create and submit for the Prevent Suicide PA Annual Suicide Prevention PSA contest for high school students. The deadline for submission is Friday, November 16th. More information can be found at psa.preventsuicidepa.org. See the guidance department for more information. The speaker for today is Pittsburgh Technical College. The boys basketball team is in search of a scorekeeper. Responsibilities include attending each game and keeping the scorebooks for all games. Anyone that is interested in this position, please see Mr. Slackoff as soon as possible. Thank you. Today for lunch, we are having French onion chicken, steamed broccoli, and chilled applesauce. That's all for now. So thanks and have a great day. Hey, it's Hannah Vogel here with your daily weather forecast. For today's weather, there is a high of 32 degrees and a low of 24. Today will be partly cloudy for the entire day. By the end of today, the amount of clouds will increase drastically. The average chance of precipitation for today is pretty low at 10%. Looking at the five-day forecast, you can see it will be fairly dreary. Today and Saturday will be partly cloudy with some cold temperatures. Tomorrow and Friday, we will be receiving both rain and snow showers. Then on Sunday, it will be rainy. The high temperatures for the next couple of days range from the high 20s to the low 40s. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Hi, it's Mrs. Crum, and as you know, it's the 30 days of giving, and we really need your help. Every weekend we pack for kids that are in need, and as you can see, my helpers are packing bags, and we are running out of food. Um, our cabinet's getting a little empty, and we definitely need your help. If everybody brings in like some ramen noodles or mac and cheese cups, Chef Laura D, Rice Krispie treats, we are able to feed at least 30 kids a week. Um, with that, we could probably feed more kids within our district, but not only does that feed the kids within November, that can feed our kids maybe up through February. Um, we can take food all year round, um, but your help helps our community. Um, it teaches our kids compassion, and I would greatly appreciate it. As you know, the Angel Project is very important to me and to our students and to the community. So if you can find it in your heart, please help us out, and you, know, you will be rewarded. Thank you so much.
world news, the Trump administration will allow Japan, China, India, and five other countries to escape U.S. sanctions against Iran, even as those nations continue to buy oil from Iran and definance of the White House's push to block all such sales. In tech, Google engineers and other company workers around the world have walked off job to protest the internet company's treatment of executives accused of sexual misconduct. In money, Starbucks is serving up three new pastries this holiday season, as well as a couple of mystery drinks. Today's fun fact is, how many human years are there in dog years? But the conventional wisdom that one dog year equals seven human years is an oversimplified view of how old your dog is in human years. Although a dog's age averages out of this way, there is quite a bit of variation. For example, dogs mature more quickly than children in the first couple of years. Thanks and have a great day. This is the Toys for Tots boxes. There's one right here, one right here, right outside the office. Feel free to donate your toys. Please donate your toys. National Education Support Professionals Day honors the contributors of school support employees. These support professionals provide invaluable services and are essential partners in the children's education process. This day honors all secretaries, classroom maids, cafeteria workers, maintenance workers, bus drivers, and the others that help and do their part in making public schools great for every child so that they can be safe, learn, grow, and achieve. Today's word of the day is niblick. A niblick is an old-fashioned kind of heavy golf club. The modern name for a niblick is a nine iron. Thanks and have a great day.